Hello everyone and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. I am filming to you from my home on Memorial Day weekend. What that means is our couple of things. Number one, I want to say most importantly to any of you who have um, a family member that was in the military, sacrificed their lives for our country, I just want to personally say thank you. Um, you know, um, and that my heart goes out to you and my thoughts are with you during this day. Um, my grandfather was a colonel in the army and the military was very important to us and continues to be important to us. And so, um, I know while this might be a, a long, nice, relaxing day for some of us, for others, um, it is a memory, um, that's hard to swallow and to digest. So I just want to just acknowledge that and let you know that, um, you and your family and your loved one are my thoughts and my prayers. Secondly, I want to say thank you to Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. She so kindly tagged me um, in the next scavenger hunt. She gave me an additional challenge of trying to utilize the books that I um, received for my birthday to find all of the prompts. I already had in the back of my mind an idea. I did not do so great with the last scavenger hunt. And the reason being is because I chose a lot of uncolored pages. So my goal was to find as many color. I had kind of a primary and secondary goal. My original goal was to find as many colored pages as I could with the prompts that Danny had already or that Danielle had already kind of set in place. Um, and so I did that. But Kathy also had an additional challenge, which was to try to find them in the books that I had been gifted for my birthday. So what I did first was try to find the colored pages for the prompts in the books that I had colored for my birthday month. Um, so anything that I colored during the month of May and then secondly, if I couldn't find them there, I tried to find other books that I had colored, um, um, colored images of those pages. And then my third option was if I couldn't find any pages that I had colored with that prompt at all from any books during the month of May or outside of that month of May was then to find an uncolored page. Um, I just, I have a lot going on in the month of June and I'm a goal achiever. <laughs> I'm a goal setter and achiever. If you didn't know that, you should see my goals videos. And so I wanted to make it not as stressful this time to make sure that I had plenty of time to color the uncolored pages and that I wasn't stressing myself out trying to kind of keep up because with the last scavenger hunt, I think I had seven pages that I've just never colored. And I have kind of in a way just given up on those and I'm kind of starting fresh with this scavenger hunt. So I'm happy to tell you that actually out of all of the prompts that she has, I think there's only one that I could not find that I had not colored. And so I have chosen my page to color and I'm actually really excited to share that with you. So here's all the books that I'll be looking from. I did also try to make it a little extra challenging to say that I couldn't choose multiple prompts for each page. So I tried to set it to where it was only one page for each prompt. So you'll, you'll, you'll see that overly complicated algorithm for how I decided to do this. Let's get to showing you the pages. So this video is likely coming after my completed pages for the month of May. And so a lot of these you will have seen in, um, my May completed pages. Um, but some of them you will not. First of all, this is Words to Live By. Um, this is one of the color count books by Mindware. And you'll know my whole story about how I hate how you have to rip this off for this just awful pen that doesn't do anything. Um, but this was the first prompt that she had, which was Sun. And so I had a few pages actually I could have chosen from, but I really, really love this page. I love the colors in it. Um, I did this with, I think, my Tao Tree. They do this with my Tau Tree markers. I'm feeling Tau Tree-ish or permanent markers maybe. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I did use stickles. Um, this book in particular has areas where you're supposed to glitter. Um, and it comes with this just awful glitter pen with the book. So I used um, some clear stickles instead and um, really like that effect. So that is my prompt for Sun. I'm gonna leave that there in case I get disrupted. I do have both of my kids um, at home with me today, of course. Um, Chibi Girls, Grayscale, this is the 100 pages, uh, four books in one. This was a book that I colored in in the month of May, and so I chose this prompt for Umbrella. You will see this umbrella here. I also could have chosen this for Lighthouse, and I almost did because there's actually a little light, a little teeny tiny lighthouse um, at the edge over there, but I chose this one for um, for Umbrella. Next, 
was the prompt for Lighthouse. So this one, I had to go through some other um, books to get it, but I love this Lighthouse. This is from Such and Such Diva Stained Glass Nautical Designs. It's kind of an easier color by number. And this is the page that I chose for Lighthouse. And I love how this turned out. I used a whole bunch of stickles on here. I did some shading. Um, yeah, I really, really love this page a lot. So I thought this was the perfect one. When I thought, when I heard that Lighthouse was gonna be a prompt, I was like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be from this book. Next, <clears throat> y'all don't come for me. <laughs> this is the only page that I wanted to somewhat be original. I wanted to find something. And like I said, I was looking for books I had colored in in the month of May. I was looking for something a little bit unique and different. This is from Cute Dragons Color by Number. And I actually intentionally picked this page to color when I received this book for review um, for Lemonade. Okay. Y'all, let's talk about this. Also, this could have also been for Sun, too, I almost said, or Umbrella. Um, this one would have been perfect. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's talk about this. Whoops. Zoom in's a little funky. Okay, so right here is a drink. Now, when I saw this, I was like, yes, 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 finally lemonade. There is a citrus slice right there. Undebatable, right, guys? That looks undebatable to me. It's yellow and green, kind of like almost a ripe or unripe, like, lemon. Now the drink, I'm going to say that maybe that's the mug color is this like, you know, brown color. Um, and so inside the drink is going to be lemonade. Um, but I'm calling this my lemonade picture. I do have a backup plan in case I get, you know, people come after me for it. I have a backup plan for lemonade. I couldn't find like an exact lemonade glass, but I think, oh, is it in here? I did color in this book in the month of May, and this is the Kira Shershneva Summer, but I feel like everybody is going to pick this page, which of course this is citrus um, and could do this. And I also have one other page that's one of like my mystery um, color books that definitely looks like lemonade, but it's, long story short, I know that it's orange juice and not lemonade, so I couldn't really count that. So, um... Yeah, so this was actually the closest that I have for lemonade. I'm counting this as my lemonade page. Y'all tell me, Danielle, let me know if I am against the rules, if I am, you know, violating some sort of an agreement, I will try to find something else. But that is like, I feel like that's close enough. I'm hoping that's close enough. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. All right, the next one was ice cream. This was an easy one from Cakes and Candies Color by Number. I was excited about this. This was my buddy color with Michaela. And of course, that, y'all, is some ice cream. That is some good looking, fun ice cream. I love the colors in here. Um, this is like a nice, simple color by number book. And uh, yeah, I thought ice cream was like super easy for me for this month. That was great. The next prompt, so this one is, has to go in an uncolored, um, in, this is my one uncolored page that I could not find, and that was surfboard. And I know that I think a lot of people are going to end up doing the Chibi Girls Gray Scale, but I was trying to, again, like keep it like different books and different pages, or at least different pages in each book. And I have not colored the surfboard page, so I'm open to that one, but I also wanted to just choose some easy stuff for this month because I don't know how busy I'm going to be. So this is from the Llamas Carré's Magic. Um, this is one of the French uh, books by Hatchet Lois Sears and it is this page and while it does not look much look like much to you here I'm going to show the um, end pages and that that y'all is a llama on a surfboard and I just thought that was too cute to pass up. And so when I was trying to decide between the two that I wanted to do, plus I know that there's one in one of Sachin's books that I have. I know there's another one in one of Kira Shershneva's books that I have. But I was always trying to figure out, well, what surfboard picture do I want to do? I mean, can you not just want to just absolutely do that picture <laughs> as soon as you see it? So I figure I want to do this one. Um, these are really easy and fun to do. And I've been wanting to work more in this book. So this is the one that I think I'm going to go towards for surfboard. So you will definitely see that in June. It should be one of the pages that I, that I finish, um, soon, but I love this book so much. I think it is so cute. Um, I was hoping to even like, I looked in here, I was like, there's gotta be like a llama drinking lemonade or something. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find it. So that is the best that I could do. 
Next, this one is going to be Wales. I may or may not have, see, have seen the scavenger hunt video when I was trying to decide what to color in here. This book was a lovely book. I think this was sent to me from Meg. Yes, this was sent to me from Meg from Meg's Art Atrium. Sent me this book so kindly for my birthday. And so this was the page that I did, which are these two super cute little whales. Again, I did these in some like really cheap jot um, permanent markers. I love just how bright and neon the colors are. And it kind of adds some like crinkliness to the page, which is, I don't know, I love that sound. So um, yeah, so that is my prompt for whale. Next, I will do my first prompt and then come back. This was one I did have to choose two prompts from. Um, the uh, one that I chose right off the bat for this um, book in the front is seashells. Um, obviously, you can see here, these are obviously two different types of seashells. This is the front cover page of the Ocean Miniatures book by Kira Shersneva. Absolutely adore this page. Absolutely love it. I think it looks great. And I think it was perfect for the prompt for seashells. So I'm very, very happy with that. So I think that looks awesome. I'll put that one aside because we will come back to that one. Next is going to be from Interior Design by Color Questopia. The prompt is Cactus. And so this was a book that I did for review. And so you will see here in this bedroom, there is a little tiny picture frame with a cactus. I guess it also maybe could be a cactus, but I definitely was like, that's a definite cactus. You can definitely tell what that is. I have the entire cactus and succulent coloring book as well. But again, I was trying to go for things I colored in May. Um, and I don't know if I've colored anything out of my cactus and succulent book yet. It's not the black background version. I haven't. Um, and I think I gave the white background version to my um, sister-in-law. So um, absolutely love this book. I have a theory that the cactus and succulent artist is the same person who did this book. I don't know that to be for sure, but I see cactus pictures like in cactus um, plants pop up somewhat commonly. And now that I see that I can't find any, like, yeah, here's another one. Um, yeah, like here's like another random one in the closet. Like that's a horrible idea. Here's some more like cactusy, succulent looking plants. Like, I don't know. This this book gives me a lot of cactus vibes. I feel like the um I feel like the author of this book might be Yeah, here's like some more cactus. So, I don't know, but I was kind of surprised at how many cacti I found in the interior design book. I thought that was really cool and interesting. And then um, it is a one that was from Sam and this was to color a, um, a mascot. And of course, art animals like art animal stencils. And when you're looking at any animal, of course, you can find um, any kind of animal um, um, that you want to. And so um, I had colored this page. This was actually um, from Danny Buttons from Danielle for my birthday, um, a book that she gifted to me. And so of course I colored this bowl here. Um, I did this kind of for my birthday because my sign is Taurus. And so um, I did that, but also um, the Houston Texans, our mascot is the, is a, um, is a bowl called Toro. And um, also there's like the Chicago Bulls. So yeah, so I thought this was perfect for the mascot, um, sports mascot challenge. Um, I really like this page a lot. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I was like, okay, well I'm gonna get one of my like least favorite colored pages done. And I absolutely love this. I think this just looks fantastic. I, I thought this was awesome. So um, yeah, I did that one for sports mascot. And then last but not least, we will circle back to 50 Ocean Miniatures. This is for um, the bonus, which was like, um, I'm trying to remember what set off the top of my head, but something to the effect of like your dream pet um, that you could have. And so this was a buddy color that I did with Amanda Downey and I chose this page and it is the penguins. So if you guys know, I absolutely love penguins, like obsessively have loved penguins my entire life. And my handle, like back when we had AOL instant messenger, like 
back in that day, um, I used to go buy like a handlebar that was called Pink Penguin. And so I colored these penguins pink in honor of that. And so I specifically, if I were to own an animal, were to own pink penguins. And I think that would just be so much fun. Um, I love it so much. I um, They're small enough to take care of. They live in these like nice, um, you know, easy to manage temperatures. Um, you know, a lot of penguins can live in just kind of like normal uh, weather. Some do have to live in very cold weather, but there are some that can kind of live in more humid in environments. And so I just think they're so cute and so snuggly and so cuddly. And why would you not want to have like a pink sparkly um, penguin? I mean, to me, like that's my life. Oh my gosh, look at them. They are so cute. They're so cute. So that is all that I have for you today. I will be back in just a minute. I'm going to take a look and see who maybe has not done this tag yet and come back and tag three people. So bear with me. Okay, I know who I'm going to tag. I'm actually going to tag four people. I am going to tag two people who are like my OG watch all the time people, but that are across the pond um, overseas. And then I'm going to tag two new um, color tubers. And so the first two people I'm going to tag are Shelly, the stitching colorist. Um, you have so many books, Shelly. You have got to be able to find all of that stuff in there. I love watching your videos. Um, and Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, I will message the both of you and let you guys know that I am officially tagging you as well, but you guys have a large number of books and I think you can absolutely do this. And then I will be tagging Lana from Hazuma's Playground. She is new to YouTube. Go check her out. She's a really cool um, video too about her dog picking like her coloring page and what she's medium that she's going to color with. So she's fantastic. And then Trudy with large print coloring. She is a nurse. She loves large print coloring. She loves color by number. Um, she is my girl. So she also has a brand new channel as well. So go check her out. I will leave in the description box below the YouTube links to their channels. So please go, um, go check them out if you haven't. Show them some love. And I look forward to seeing your pics, ladies. So I hope you all have a great rest of the week. I hope you have a wonderful, relaxing weekend. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.